Mage, you can't be serious. Regardless of what decision you made at the end of Season 1, Clementine still ends up with Kristen Omid. Now, I'm not complaining because personally I like Kristen Omid, but I know a lot of people that didn't, which kind of makes their choices irrelevant. That's kind of the whole point of this series, right? The game is tailored to how you play it? What if it's a girl? Then we name her Krista. But I'm Krista. I don't want to call her Krista. That's just confusing. So name her Genevieve. I don't care. You're not taking this seriously. I take everything seriously. Omid says he takes everything seriously when he literally just said he doesn't care what the name of his future son or daughter is. Remember that time in Barstow? Vegas weekend. Pointless exposition dump. Why the hell is Krista going into the men's bathroom? Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Why the hell did I think of that? Ugh. Ugh. Disgusting. Never mind. That's getting counted as a sin. F*** that. I did not need to be told that. Don't lie to me. I'll pop you. Give me what you got. I'm not screwing around. Come on. Like most idiotic antagonists, this bitch decides to monologue instead of taking the perfect opportunity to steal what she wants and be done with it. Give me that hat. Well, you pretty much doomed yourself to gaming hell after that comment. You do not mess with Clementine's hat. <laughs> Omid is dead, and that sucks. Of course we have to wait several seconds to show the blood pouring out of his chest for dramatic effect. <laughs> I didn't mean that. <laughs> Krista doesn't headshot this bitch. So when are we going to get the 16 months DLC? I mean, I know that we have to time jump for the sake of the game, but it's pretty bad that at this point, I'm more interested in what happened during that past 16 months while Clementine was growing up than I am with the fact that Omi just died like 30 seconds ago. Krista was practically in labor at the beginning of this episode, and now her would-be child is nowhere to be found. How the f*** do you just gloss over that? What else can we do? Find something that'll burn, maybe. I don't know. Won't be easy in the dark and in the rain. Rain? What rain? I mean, I know you just said that it was dark, but we still got pretty good lighting from where I'm playing, and I don't see any damn rain. Come on, there aren't even any particle effects on your clothes. You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Whoa, 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 hold up, Krista. 16 months have gone by and you haven't taught Clementine how to build a campfire? Hell, Lee was able to teach her how to use a gun within a matter of minutes. What the hell have you been doing this whole time? This rain will turn to sleet, then ice, then snow. Uh, that is not how precipitation works. Hi, Miss Lee. No, she won't. You know what's funny? Is if you choose to burn the photo of Lee, the game won't let you. It'll just cut to the sequence of Krista getting trapped by that group of scavengers. Even Telltale didn't want you to act like scumbags, and I don't blame them, but since it still robs you of your choice however heinous it may be, it's still getting counted as a sin. Discount Joel. The reuse of the are you fucking kidding me line. Jesus, are you fucking kidding me? Jesus, are you fucking kidding me? Discount Camp Crystal Lake. Predictable jump scare. You don't like that. Got it. Sorry. Bugs, 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 bugs. I really hate these bugs. They ruin the flow of gameplay. Kim Possible doll? I believe it's called a frisbee. Why couldn't Clementine just pierce this walker's brains in with the end of the branch instead of smashing it? Kind of negates what Clementine just said about them being smarter. It's okay. We're smart. He's not. You're smarter than all of them. It just bugs me that it makes Clem look dumb, which she's not. Completely dirty blade here, completely clean blade here after a couple of wipes. <laughs> ah, I see. So Clementine can sweet chin music a dog and impale it, but she has trouble lifting a branch and smashing a walker's brains in. <laughs> Makes sense. And in typical Walking Dead fashion, walkers pop out of nowhere for the sake of adding tension. Objectives that point out the obvious. Random strangers that end up saving the day cliche. Come on, kid. 
We just saw you with those lurkers back there. I can't remember the last time I saw a dog. No, no, just look at it, please. <laughs> yeah, and have you sink your teeth into Pete's neck? No way. My neck? Why am I the one? Because I don't know a dog bite from a mosquito bite from a lurker bite, man. Well, then you're a dumbass, Luke. They may be walkers, but they're still in human form. Thus, they have human-shaped teeth. If you can't tell human teeth from a mosquito bite, then I'll feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but lack of basic education ain't one. A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... you don't kill dogs. While generally I would agree with Luke here, I have to disagree with him on this occasion. Cause let's go through this logically. You're Clementine and you just survived an attack from a group of scavengers and walkers, and you don't know if the only friend you have left is still alive. You're all alone, and you're hungry. You come across this stray dog and try to befriend it. It growls at you. Then when you do stumble across some scarce food and try to share it when you're already hungry yourself, the dog bites it out of your hand and tries to eat it all. Then when you do try to get it back, it attacks you, leaving a wound that will possibly get infected if not taken care of, and then Clementine would die if she didn't get it treated. Your statement is invalid, Luke. You have lost this argument. The obligatory first-person point of view at critical plot moments. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. Just like in season one, we have to make it brutally obvious who the asshole character is, who we may or may not end up sympathizing with later on. What an asshole. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. The so-called doctor can't tell the difference between a dog bite and a walker bite. It's as if they deliberately dragged out this pointless debate to extend the story because they ran out of ideas. It's a glitch. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, please. But, yeah, we can't do nothing. Pussy whipped! And where exactly would you go? To find my friend Krista. Forget it. You won't get five feet. <laughs> if only you knew what she's been through, Nick. Why are we doing this? Fucking dumb. Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, it's safer. Okay, where the hell is this voiceover coming from? When they locked Clementine in the shed, it looked like it was dusk. But when she escapes later on, it looks like it's in the middle of the night. Were they arguing outside of the shed for several hours before heading back into the cabin? And the shed is a fair distance away from the cabin, so she couldn't have heard them from there. They would have had to be screaming their heads off, which they weren't, in order for Clem to hear them from the shed. It just doesn't make any sense to me. You hungry? How does Rebecca not see Clementine here? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. What will he do? Get mad at me. What does he do when he gets mad? He gets angry, and he says he's disappointed in me. And then he just loves me and wants me to be safe. That's it? Nothing else? Yeah. It's the worst. You know, I have to give a slow clap to Telltale here. They somehow managed to create a character that's even more worthless than Duck and Ben, combined. Wonder how many characters she's gonna get killed. Pinky swearing. Man, f*** your watch. Now, just like last time, just how Krista showed me. See, this line makes the beginning of the episode even more irritating. Krista showed Clem how to treat a wound but didn't teach her how to build a f***ing campfire in the span of 16 months. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to Says us. Says the man not carrying a baby. That is completely irrelevant to the topic at hand. There are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. Well, to be honest, that's your own damn fault for not exposing your daughter to the world as it is. If you did, she probably wouldn't be so f***ing clueless and she'd know a thing or two about survival, if and when the time arrives when she's gonna need it. 
So you baby her instead of teaching her what any reasonable parent would do in a zombie apocalypse. Survival training. Hiding never solved any problems in the long run, and I wouldn't be surprised if either one of you ends up dead. Clementine turns away from Rebecca here, but in the next shot she's looking right back at her. Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth! You should probably think about being nicer to me. That's just my advice. <laughs> think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? And of course, Nick has to play the pronoun game so that Clementine, and in effect us, the player, have to ask who the hell Carver is. I'm sure we'll get to know in the next episode. Hey, is this that same reused dead character model from the bedroom scene in season one? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> 400 days reference. At some point, you guys have to trust me. Hell, I trust you. But not everyone's at that point yet. Give them time. Look, just keep your head on straight. <laughs> this walker was completely silent until the game called for it. Hope this isn't anyone you know. So what if it was? They're walkers now, which means they got to go. Wait a minute, is that the same water bottle that Clementine had at the very beginning of this episode? Because she didn't have any water bottle in her backpack 16 months later in that scene with Krista right before they got attacked. I thought you were dead. Yeah, except you weren't there when he got lost. This entire scene is only a sin if you eliminate the video. Oh. <sighs>